love you. Do you want to see what I have today? Are you ready? It's my own paint pens. Look how cute. It says stay trippy on the back of it. Me and my neighbor designed this whole entire thing all by ourselves. It's so cute. Look at this. Look how cool the pen actually is. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, with the Saturn and everything, dude. I even put like little rainbows like on the edges of them. They're so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. So today I thought it'd be fun to test them out on a bunch of different stuff. We're gonna be trying it on paper, this glass jar, a canvas, this rock. Ooh, it's a smooth rock. And my David Dobrik shirt, because it's literally the only shirt that I have that's white. <laughs> and this little piece of wood. Also, I'm going to try to find a spot on my wall that's not painted on yet, and try the markers on the wall, because that'd be pretty cool. If you've never used a paint pen before, I'm going to show you how to use it. It's pretty much really easy, but yeah, I want to show you how to use it. So when you first buy a paint pen, no matter what kind it is, this one's a water-based one, it will always look like this. So as you can see, there's like no paint on it or anything. You could take it out. So to get it started, you just go like this, and you just push it out. See how the ink is coming down? And then, you're good to go. First thing I'm gonna try them on is paper. Oh, that's amazing. So now I'm gonna use a pink one and I flip the tip over so now it's gonna be like this. So let's try it. Bruh. And then if you do it this way, you can make it like really thin. Look how thin the line is. These are literally amazing, I can't. Then if you wanna flip it back, just take it out and flip it right back in and then it's normal again. Okay, these are actually awesome. Look, you can make three like different lines. You can make a thick one, a medium sized one, and a super small one just by one of these. All right, so the paper, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 only because the markers are water-based, which means when you use them, they have water mixed in with the paint. So they're gonna be really good as long as you have watercolor paper, which is like thick paper. So the second thing I'm gonna try the paint pens on is glass. I have never painted on glass before, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but yeah, let's try it out. Wait, this is so good. If this like dries good, it's actually gonna be really cool. Is painting on glass like gonna be my new thing? <laughs> so it's all dry and that works so well. Look how cute the little flower. I'm gonna give the glass a 10 out of 10. This is pretty fun. It went on really, really smooth and um, it looks really good. Let's move on to the next thing. Up um, next, we're gonna paint a rock. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to paint a little mushroom. Hmm, it's working pretty good so far. The rocket's a 10 out of 10. This is adorable. Look how cute, it's so clean too. All right, fabric, let's try this. Wait, that looks really good, actually. Dude, if this is good on t-shirts and it doesn't come off in the wash, that's actually gonna be awesome. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna hand wash it and see what it looks like after the wash. I don't know if it's gonna stay because it is water-based paint pens, like I said, but I guess we gotta try. And then I did this design. Look how cute. And I washed it and it stayed. The fact that my paint pens work on fabric and it's washable, I can't. Amazing, I can't. Next thing we're gonna try out is canvas. Look at the colors. They're so good. These paint pens work the best on canvas. Look at that white too. It's so white, you can barely even see it. Canvas gets a 10 out of 10. Now it's time to try it on wood. Pretty good so far. Wait, I'm gonna flip this like this. 
Oh, hell yeah. So cute, I made a little snail. Well, I tried to make a snail. I would give the wood a 10 out of 10. Look how good like the colors are. It went on really well and it looks so good. So the last thing we're gonna try to do is paint on the wall. I believe behind this poster, there isn't anything there. Hell yeah, look at that brand new canvas we got. Look at what I did, dude. Literally writes so good on the wall. Definitely was not expecting that. Like look how smooth it writes. That is awesome. And by the way, I'm not saying these paint pens are good just because they're mine and like I want sales, but I'm saying they're good because they're literally amazing. Like I would not sell you crappy paint pens, I promise you. <laughs> So that went pretty well. I am so happy with these paint pens. They're literally amazing. I love them. I am so excited for you guys to have these. Mm. Normally, um, you would use paint pens on like canvases, but I guess it worked pretty well on like the wood and the glass and like the rocks and stuff. So like you do you, you know? The only thing that I would recommend when painting with them on a canvas is if you draw a line and you want to, um, draw another line like right next to it or on top of it. Just make sure that it's like dry first because if you do like a pink and then you do a blue right next to the pink or on top of the pink, it will like mix together if it's not dry. So just make sure that it's dry first so your colors don't mix together. And the paint pens are now available on my Etsy shop. You can buy them right now, um, the link in the bio. And um, yeah. Also one more thing before I go, this is my new hoodie, isn't it cute? And these are on my SU shop also. It's really cute, it says change is good. And I designed this, it's so cute. It's so cozy and warm. <laughs> Just to give you an example of how much stuff is on my store, this much stuff. <laughs> so this is all my merch. I have hoodies, I have bags, t-shirts, and I have a couple onesies. These are all the paint pens. Ooh, there's so many. Look at how beautiful, so pretty. And then this is the newest thing we got. We got little masks. Aren't they cute? One has trippy jaws on it, and then another one says, I need space. I love this one. So yeah, if you guys want to buy anything for Christmas, hit a girl up. Yeah, I guess uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>